Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Criminal Phil here, showing you the differences between a Serpentine 107 and the Serpentine 109. Now, last week, these fleets were basically full auto instant repair. So let's see how we go. I'm actually not going to fly these things. I can probably do them easy enough with just letting them go. Then again, I won't. Then again, I won't. I'll make it. Oh yeah, yeah look at that! Bang, bang, bang! Oh, one shot! Oh, you got one shot off me. Oh well. speed things up I will slightly manually fly this so as you can see so far very minimal damage haven't even lost a scrap of ablative yet um, and we'll just strafe slightly backwards there just to show you how it should be done and there we go there not even a shot fired which is always good so then we fly up here, yeah, we'll just target any one of these, doesn't really matter. They virtually shouldn't get a shot off anyway. As soon as you crack the, ba as soon as you crack the barrier, you just start strafing directly backwards, and boom, one shot, boom, one shot, and one shot, and you can even just speed it up a little bit by going there. Then we just attack the, the vowel and it gets off two shots still once again i've only just triggered the one overdrive there and then we just clean up the last two of these here and you will notice a marked difference in the next one that i hit the 109 and once again just strafe backwards so you don't get any range and there we go easy as you like and nine monitor parts and just to show you how easy it was see free repair now i'm gonna find our serpentine 109 and let's have a look at the difference here we go. Now, the starting formation of the fleets are pretty much the same. So, all you have to do is, what I do here, is I direct my Levi down to this bottom corner. Because what you want to do is you want to get down to here, so you can actually time the Wendigo so they don't all rush you at once. If you just go straight in with these, you'll get one or two of them firing on you, which is what you don't want. If you come down to this corner, you then get to trigger. They all still get triggered at the same time, but they arrive in a staggered formation. So you get one there, two shots for that one. So these are a little bit tougher. They, you take, they take two, shot, two volleys of the horde. Um, bang, bang. And there we go there, see? So now, here comes the fun part. Because... This ship, look at that, takes a lot of volleys, and it's taken, it's taken, left me with basically just over half my ablative left, and took 2% off my fleet. 2%. Um, which is rather excessive. There are probably ways that you can mitigate that by flying at different angles and stuff like that, but um, yeah, so 2% is about 3 coin repair. And that's only part of it, because then you've got these ones here. Now, once again, you'll notice these ones here, they take 3 or 4 shots to properly dispose of 
and then we do we rinse and repeat this again for what we did last time where this time we fly up to the top corner I could have probably flown down to this corner but then you yeah either one just takes a bit longer to go this way but you use basically the same technique again you come up to you come up to one side left or right doesn't really matter and you fly there and you just strafe backwards so you've got them all in range and boom 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 there we start flying down this way just to get them done and there we go there now now we can try and fly on a bit of an angle to try to lessen the pain of them but once again two percent two percent per valve is basically the nutshell the first time I did this I only got five coin repair might have been a fluke but the first valve seemed to do less damage than what what I did but either way the sheer volume of repair required compared to the 107 is just crap um, Kicks I have basically, I supposedly these there is a supposed bug again with um, these fleets um, in terms of using dreadnoughts um, for a DPS thing where Cyrus has supposedly said, Oh, you can use rangers, good luck with that. Uh, supposedly, even if you use a full Mark 6 fleet of vectors, you still. Um, need to be careful because one shot from a valve can take away basically half of your um, screen power or health so once again 2% so 94% 6% damage, and basically that was from three ships, and that's a nine coin repair. Now my my level, now my Levi is a 50/50 blight horde and meta horde, and I'm using Tatiana for my commander, so I get an extra 25% bonus DPS boost. So I'm dealing with like something like 40 DPS, 40,000 DPS. Um, and we'll see how we go. I'm going to pause this for a second while I return to base so I can show you the build. Okay, so 32 minute repair. Now, as you can see, I've got four on the front, four on the front, and I've got one BL on the black on the back. And I've actually got full. I've got actually I've got kinetic resistor on there, so that shows you why, and that's even worse because that I means that shows you how much DPS it is doing. So. That is the that is how I do them. Uh, good luck for the rest, and I'm assuming I've heard of stories of ships getting melted left and right. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed.